Gorinju, good morning and as always, thanks for joining us. Let's cut to the chase and not talk about the market movement because we know how bullish you are. Tell us about what themes you will be playing, say, over the next uh, 6 to 12 months. So what's your b biggest and uh, best theme now? As I told uh, Sonia earlier, you know, the, the whole country is a theme today, the whole economy, Indian economy. And uh, that, is the, uh, that is the way uh, investors should look at things. Uh, you know, we have a very challenging world out there. It's not going to be a very easy ride um, uh, for, for the global growth especially. So it will have its own uh, challenges uh, and it can be felt in some pockets of economy in India too. And some companies, uh, may, they may have to reorganize themselves to combat uh, those kind of challenges. But the big picture, as I always say, overall, you know, Indian markets is at a very, very uh, reasonable going by the valuation. We are nearing $2 trillion uh, as, as the market cap. I think it is $1.96 trillion uh, as per the last week. And uh, that was a very big growth. If you see in the last one year, it has gone by $50 uh, billion. Uh, I remember talking to you a uh, year ago, you know, Indian market cap. Uh, we will add a trillion dollar to our market cap in the next uh, one, two years. And half of that is already done. So that is that is the way we, uh, investors should look at uh, macro market. Then comes stock picking. Okay. And again, for stock picking, there is no place in the world like India sure. you, you know, for picking stocks. And there are, there are many, many themes to play with. And it's a dramatically and uh, structurally changing economy. It's very, very interesting times we are living in, we are okay. investing in. Okay, Purunji, good morning. Yeah, I remember, you know, you, you said your, your biggest multi-bagger actually has been Narendra Modi and, uh, you know, you, you are betting on 40, 50 billion dollars of uh, domestic uh, money coming into equity markets. We have seen that, you know, play out. Uh, uh, so, in, in that sense, uh, you know, how would you look at, uh, you know, scenarios like today, for example, there's a farm loan waiver, you know, there are issues. Uh, it could be good for the market, but uh, overall, maybe not good from economy point of view. How do you take these kind of speed bumps then? Yeah, now farm loan behavior is a major, major uh, point of discussion in the last couple of days. Uh, everybody knows it's not good economics and it's, it's, it's bad politics. We all know, but it's nothing very major for people to be worried about in the market. Uh, in fact, it can help, you know, consumption a bit. Uh, there is some vibrancy can come to the rural economy can be added. So the things are only uh, better from that perspective. But a culture, we need to keep uh, extremely high level of, uh, you know, credit discipline at this point of time. We have been suffering for the since of last 10, 15 years, where the loans were passed by banks without diligence, with the political uh, uh, recommendations. So today, we the country is paying a price for that. The taxpayers paying a price for that. The public sector banks in very bad shape. There is no priority even going forward. So, but of course, we will manage it with the better governance and strong decisions. India can easily manage these things. Uh, so, uh, so that's one reason, perhaps you know, uh, the banking stocks have been, especially the PSU banks, are subject to this kind of volatility. I would say there is no clarity for that. Sure. Anyway, the the farm loan waiver, I think, uh, need not take it seriously, but we should make sure the country should make sure that a culture of. Uh, Credit and financial indiscipline is not created like the UP regime. It's very important. Okay. We are at an inflection point. We have to take special care for that. Okay. Uh, morning, Purinju. Always good to have you with us. Uh, but uh, where would you therefore spread your bets? I know, I mean, to say that India is my theme is a, a hold all statement. Uh, can you drill it down? Uh, uh, would you like FMCG brand related kind of companies? Uh, I believe you're uh, uh, backing that theme a lot these days. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, good morning, Lata. Even um, Sony has been in a hurry to get some stroke <laughs> names. Um, it's, uh, you know, I was talking about a theme which, uh, you know, it's, I think of late nobody much talks about. You know, the brands, the brands in India, mm. the brands in the listed, among the listed companies. Uh, there was a time in the 90s, uh, you know, like people like Chandragan Sambath, you know, we used in, among the, the big value investors, even mm -hmm. Dada Krishna Damani and all, they used to talk about brands and some of them really paid off. Mm -hmm. You know, the stocks like Titan and we had many companies. Asian Jok Paint, yes. was the brand. Mm -hmm. We had uh, Bata, Motilal, IAFL, 
Uh, you know, Wengi's, Asian Paints, TTK Prestige, many of the very successful brands which created huge wealth for investors. Mm. Five times, ten times and fifty times. So now, uh, now there are many brands. I can see below them, uh, you know, hundreds of brands which are struggling uh, today for various reasons. Some of them, the promoters did not manage the company properly, professionally and dynamically. So these brands did not create wealth for investors. So among listed companies, I can see at least 100, 150 beautiful brands today, which are poised to create wealth in the coming maybe two, three or five years time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me uh, let me take that. First.